so today we are going to try and stitch um, a few seams and starting with the very basic and we'll try to move it up to a little bit more difficult when it comes to seams so um, I think in class I would have given you an introduction of all the tools that I will be using so uh, let me start by stitching something which is called a plain seam a plain seam is essentially two pieces of fabric uh, in a when you use muslin it's kind of hard to see but there is always the right side of the fabric and the wrong side the right side is the fabric which has the print and the wrong side is the underside of the fabric so when you're stitching the seam in this case we start with stitching the two wrong sides together right so if you can see you hold the two edges close together and now depending upon the seam uh, how much how much seam you keep can vary depending upon the requirement it can be anything from half an inch to an inch to three fourth of an inch it just can vary okay so what we're going to do is just simply stitch a straight line Now you can see I've joined it with a straight line when I open it up it's a seam so this seam is called a plain seam now what do you do with this seam the seam depending upon the requirement can be ironed to one side right it can be ironed to one side it can be flattened like so and ironed as well so this is just a plain seam right now the same friend seam, this same seam to make it stronger which is quite common in local garments will have a second stitch line which reinforces the first line now when you have a second stitch line then obviously it is not possible to flatten the seam anymore so in that case the seam goes to one side the seam is ironed to one side okay so this is a plain seam it's a plain seam with two stitch lines so this is a variety of a plain seam now next we'd move on to having a plain seam which is we call it a turn and stitch plain seam so again yet again i'm just going to stitch a seam same thing not different from what i've stitched before remember these are the very basic and very primitive preliminary seams that one learns okay so again a plain seam now what I do is I flatten the seam flatten it use an iron I'm at at the machine so I don't I'm doing a nail press I have flattened the seam okay now what I do is I turn each side turn each side inwards so until and unless you see me stitch it it will be a little difficult to see and explain so I'm just going to go ahead and do this stitch
so if you see I've stitched it I've stitched it along the edge so when I flatten it there is no raw edge okay if you see that my seam is neatly finished with a straight line as opposed to a raw edge on this side it's finished and so when you do this is called a turn and stitch if I were to complete this then I would also turn this side and stitch it as well the same way I have done this side okay this seam sometimes okay so now the option to this the option to having a turn and stitch now I am not going to do the whole seam all, all over again so I'm just going to give you a sh another version of this if you were to do it you would have to do this on sa both sides the other way of finishing the edge is with a single um sorry one sec let me see if I can if I have a ribbon cut okay here we go so this is a strip which is you can either have a ribbon or you can have a piece of fabric which is folded in so now this is the fabric it's been folded in once in on this side and then folded again okay to create this ribbon so now the other way of finishing this hem is to simply sandwich this white part between these two okay put this edge raw edge into this opening I'm putting it in shutting it and doing a stitch now I'm going to just make sure that it gets stuck before okay so as you can see I don't know I hope you can see I'm enclosing that edge it can be either in my I can do this either with a ribbon or a strip of fabric right I've enclosed this edge so in this case the turn and stitch was just folded down and stitched in this case I have enclosed the edge in a ribbon or a strip of cloth and this is another way of finishing the seam the same seam can also be finished with a bias bound so I will come to the bias bound seam a little later right now um, I'll have practice these three seams these three seams and then we will move on to the next bunch of seams 